Welcome to BitBoy Crypto, home of the Bit Squad, the largest and greatest crypto community in all the interwebs. My name is Ben. Every day on this channel, I show you how to make money in crypto. If you like money and crypto, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, usually, this is a Sunday drive video where I drive to church and tell you guys what's going on in the world of crypto. But this morning, we got uh, some Martins, Martins biscuits. I tell you what. Uh, went a little early, got the family some uh, some stuff, so uh, we're out here. It's it's raining a little bit, so I'm gonna try not to slip and slide. I'm getting new rims and tires on my on my demon. The the slicks on here, you guys know I got my trucks in the shop right now. The the slicks on here are just too slick. I feel like I'm constantly gonna drive off the road. Speaking of driving off the road, let's talk. So uh, George from Cryptos R Us made a video last night. Uh, detailing why he thinks I'm wrong about my predictions for Bitcoin in the fall. Uh, I had a tweet on Twitter of all places. It's unbelievable that I can tweet on Twitter. And uh, I, I tweeted what I think is going to happen for this market. And this is what I've been saying for two years now. This is not new information I've been saying. I believe by the middle of October, this thing will be over. Um, you know, I said end of September, looking like that's, you know, maybe that timeline's too short at this point. I always said give or take a week. So, you know, maybe this goes into the middle of October. Uh, Benjamin Cowan responded on that uh, on that tweet. You know, how can you possibly say this? We're not even back to all-time highs. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I think what I would like to do is I would like to invite uh, George and Benjamin Cowan. Maybe we can have a, uh, a three-way, a three-way debate, of course. Um, about uh, their thoughts on Bitcoin because I think, I don't know, they may fall in line. Uh, I don't know if they fall in line exactly, but maybe we can bring them on to the show one day this week and we can uh, talk about it and break it down. But let's let's talk about why I believe Bitcoin is topping out very soon. And I don't think I, the move to the upside is going to be fast and quick. This is based on something called the Golden Bitcoin Bull Ratio. You can look this up. I've talked about this for two years. In every bull run in history, 51% or a 49%, excuse me, of the bull run has been in between the bottom of the market and the halving event. 51% has been from the halving to the top of the market. When you do that calculation, because we knew when the bottom of the market was in December of 2018, we knew when the halving was in May of 2020. When you apply that 49%, 51% ratio, maybe it's 51-49, I can't remember which way it goes, but that, that's not important. Uh, when, when you apply that ratio, okay, you come up with a date at the end of September. So this has been in the works for years at this point. Now, are we possibly seeing something different because of the manipulation in the middle of this bull run? It certainly is possible. Now, now look, I, I'm no dummy. Time's running out at this point. Time is running out for me to be correct, okay? But you have to understand the difference between what I've been saying about September 28th. Uh, I think the tweet said September 27th, but it was actually September 28th. What I've been saying about that date for two years versus what I've been telling you about Bitcoin in the fall for the remainder of this bull run. Uh, in May, I came across, late May, I came across some information. Um, you guys know we've talked about it a lot on the channel. I told you guys that the price of Bitcoin would be moving up in the middle of July. It was based on that information and what happened. The price of Bitcoin went up in the middle of July. It bottomed out on July 20th, uh, made its ascent. It climbed $10,000 in just a few days after that. And then all of a sudden, everybody was bullish again. The caveat to that prediction was in the fall, the Fed was going to move us towards deflation and that was going to end the run. Now, I took that to mean that that was going to end the uh, the Bitcoin bull run, but or, or the entire bull run. But maybe that's just the end of, of the run for Bitcoin. Maybe altcoins go a little bit longer than that. That was not given to me with a date. My date has strictly been based off the same prediction I've been making for two years. And you know, I, I'm not a flip flopper, so I go with what information I believe is good until new information presents itself to where I'm clearly wrong. I still think we could move up. Uh, I, I think we could move up by the middle of October. I, I think we could be at $100,000. But whether it's in October or November, the fact is, in the fall, this thing is going to end. Now, when does fall? This is a very important question because when you think of the fall, what do you think of? You probably think 
September, October, November. Well, technically, that's that is true. Uh, some sometime in the early early twenties, uh, either the twenty first or the twenty third or the twenty second or the twenty fourth or the twentieth. I can't remember how the how the uh, the seasons rotate because it, it's kind of weird. But, but the point is, sometime in in between September twentieth and the twenty fourth, fall starts. Doesn't end until December. Like so either the 20th or the 22nd or the 23rd, somewhere rather, right before Christmas is actually when the fall ends. I see no way that this bull run extends into next year. Benjamin Cowan's got a much longer timeline. I don't know exactly what George's timeline is, but whether or not this happens in the beginning of October or in November or in the first week of December, this is happening. I cannot see any way this extends. Now, now look. These guys are all making predictions based upon charts. The same thing I do. The same thing I did when I came up with a, with a, when I really got behind that golden Bitcoin bull ratio. It was a chart somebody created that looked to be very correct to me, and uh, it made perfect sense. And I could, it already looked like we were following along that same timeline. So I did the same thing. I was going off of a chart, off of a theory, if you will, when I came up with that date. Now since then, a lot of things have corroborated that date. So that's why I definitely, you know, believe, uh, I believed in that for years now. But the point is, is that when you look at the charts that Benjamin Cowan is looking at, or George is looking at, or any other person out there that that is basing, uh, you know, a a lengthening cycle or, you know, whatever you want to call it at this point, the, the fact is, is that they're not taking into consideration a black swan event. And... Uh, the move to deflation is certainly a black swan event. I could go over many, many things that we've already seen that are indicating, uh, you know, that this is happening, uh, including look at the IRS. Right now we have the IRS just uh, President Biden is now putting in an executive order, basically, or, or maybe it's being molded into the infrastructure bill. I can't remember exactly what it is at this point, but where every single bank out there has to turn over any information on account that's over $600. Why are they doing that? Because the IRS is about to start going after cash, hot and heavy, because deflation is coming. Cash is once again going to be king. Over the long term, you're still going to be better off being in Bitcoin. Over the long term, no question about it. But over the next few years, there's going to certainly be a strong argument as the dollar will strengthen again and deflation will kick in. So you gotta take all that into consideration. That is what their charts do not show. So if we're just simply looking uh, from a, a charts and data analysis, then what they're saying makes total sense. But what is coming in the fall that is going to flip this? Uh, I think it was Fidelity. I can't remember exactly who it was, but some uh, article was just out, you know, explaining how as long as there's not a gigantic shift in the news media narrative about the economy, Bitcoin's going to continue to go up. But that's the caveat. There is a change coming, and the people that are listening to me are going to be far better off. Of course, it's financial advice, but they're going to be far better off than those that are not listening or living in a fantasy world right now. So we'll see what happens. Uh, I'd love to invite those two guys to come on the show. Maybe we do a three-way debate. Maybe we do, uh, you know different, uh, you know, maybe it's two different videos. Not really sure. We'll see what they say. I'll try to work that out this week. And, uh, you know, I want you guys to have the most well-rounded perspective. I want you guys to have the most well-rounded perspective on, uh, you know, every possible scenario, not just what I'm telling you, because I've gleaned a lot from those two guys, uh, over the years. And, uh, you know, a lot of other people out there in crypto as well. So, all right, take it with a grain of salt. That's all I got. Be blessed. Yeah.